Hello everybody, Brian Fontenot here, Autistic Gamer, and welcome back into Abzu. Now, let's start this game off, oh, let's start this off, let's do it, what well, you know, let's go right into it. Now, this ain't a very long game, it's probably like an hour or so, depending on how long you actually play and how long it takes. What I didn't mention is that there is a barrier, so you only have a limited amount of space to, tr you know, roam until the invisible wall pulls you back in let's go on this tide this is a rip current now you can just let go of the button you can literally be swimming on your own okay okay already forgotten that this thing had inverted things so up is down and down is up like driving like flying a plane or, or you know flying a jet and yes, I am going through literally these schools of fish. There's an achievement for that. I forgot what it was called. But just look at the beauty and all the colorfulness here. Okay, I'm already forgetting how to control on this game because I barely play it and because I completed it and I don't need to. And look at that. Dolphins! Bottlenose Dolphins, I think it is, if I'm right. Just look at this beauty. On that rock piece, I think you would be seeing a shell, uh, shell piece, like I mentioned last episode. Okay, I can't see anything. I can't see anything through these red snappers. Man, this is also supposed to distract you or something, but my god. And now through that ball, the little ball of fish that's circling around. There's our shark friend again. And now down into the hole. Some underwater, some deep underwater fish. Oh, we got the goosebumps. Oh my god, just the goosebumps coming up again. Okay, what species are y'all again? Bottom nose dolphins? Nope, common dolphins. And let's do this. They follow you around and they do they play with you as well watch when I do spins see that they try to do spins when I do a flip they do a flip uh. <clears throat> oh look at that Now right here would be another spot where those shells, uh, that shell would be. And watch this. I do my little ping. All those little, oh, puffer fish. Hello. Hello, look at that thing. It's so cute, the puffer fish. Where'd you go? There you are. Look at, look at that thing. Oh. Okay, okay, I can I need to get back into the use of control in this. Well, uh, whenever I try to get in the close in, oh, there we go, we puffed up. When a puffer fish puffs up, that means it's really unhappy. It's also a defense mechanism, but it, it, it tells you when the fish is unhappy. And get this, the achievement to get to unlock all these little holes right here, apparently it was just one of them in this region that I did not realize that I had unlocked two years ago. And get this. What came out of that hole? The puffer fish. And look at these. I don't know what these creatures are. It doesn't zoom in on them when you meditate. But they dive underneath the holes when you get near them. Oh wow, that extended a long way, that ping. The range of it is the same. It's just the size of it. See this just a quick tap? This is all the way extended down. Oh, 
just so magical. There's a meditating spot right there. And uh, these, I don't know what eels these are, but my god, they're beautiful. I think they're, oh, they got little uh, whiskers on their nose ends. Y'all can't see it, but they just, they like, uh, they like the dragon nose, they like the dragon eels. Because they, their little noses on the end look like the whiskers on the Chinese dragon. Let's just meditate for a bit. And look at the wonders of this place. <laughs> Sorry, sinuses are dripping like crazy. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Damn. Common reef shark. Man, they seriously put good detail into this. It, it may look simple, but my god. It is about as accurate as the coloration as it is in real life. These fish right here, these are emperor fish. And right here, you see the butterfly fishing. You are a coral trout. Another coral trout. A azur, azu, dam, azu dams fish, damsel fish, azum damsel fish, and a trigger that was in front of the. If I can zoom in on it. Another emperor. Oh. Another emperor. That's another. Uh, I think it might be locked onto that zebra one. That zebra coral trout. These are all coral trouts. What the? Hey. A vacuit? A vacuit? What? I don't know how the hell pronounce that, but... Oh my god! It's like a freaking mini dolphin! Oh, he just ate something. Oh, he's going for that fish. Oh my freaking god! I forgot that species existed around in this ring. Oh my freaking lord! I forget how cute it is! Oh, Mama Sita! Oh, sweet Mama Sita! It is so damn adorable! There's another one down there and one way back there. Oh my lord, that thing is cute! Oh my god, that just brightened my day a bit. Come on, I want to get into... Okay, is that a parrot fit? No, a bicolor... Yeah, bicolor parrot fish. I was right. These big old ones near the coral trouts. And clearly, that big old fish right there... A humphead wrasse. They... Again, all these species of fish and creatures you see are real. Every single creature you hear... You, you hear, you see here is real. From the tiniest creatures to the biggest things in the world. Can I seriously get onto the, any of these trigger fish? Okay, I'm on these. The blue surgeon fish. Now, you see that thing? You see that yellow uh, line off fin across his back? That, they're called a surgeon fish because those things are like blaze and if you it's a defense mechanism and if you touch it you get yourself cut that's why they call them the surgeon fish because those things are really sharp hey look there's a little fit there's a dory right there the blue tang if I can zoom in on it if the camera will freaking do that for God's sake get on am I just gonna go back and forth on these uh coral trout for God's sake get on the Oh my god, get on the freaking blue, uh, get on the blue tangs. Oh, for the love of god. Mm. 
Whoa, whoa, what? what are, yeah, that's what I wanted to know. What are these? L Larry, Larry, Larry Tail Anthus? Antheus? Huh. These things are so small, you would barely be able to get your camera on it. Okay, there's see another one right there. Is that... It's on the freaking... An I think those are anchovies, that little thing right there. No, I think that these right here are cleaner fish. If the damn camera will actually get onto it, I will know for sure. Oh, okay. Where are we going all the way here? Oh, you can't get onto a freak on uh, the blue tangs in the school, but you can lock onto this little sucker way, way, way on the other side of the map. Boy, ain't that a piss off? No, I need to get onto the blue tanks to show y'all it's Dory, which some of y'all are already going off saying, look at Dory. <sighs> Wait, are there clownfish in this one? In this region or not? Okay, I want to know what those uh, ones that look like the perch are. Oh, I think I might have been locked onto one. Damn it. Uh, well, jeez. Okay, you're locking onto them now. Oh, uh, what? C come on, man. I just want to get onto some certain... For the love of God, I ain't gonna get my way for y'all. Yeah, there's a Picasso triggerfish. What was that? Was that that? Was it that thing? Was it that dolphin thing? My God. You see that little trigger on top of their head? That's why they call a trigger fish. And they put, they extend that thing out and they launch themselves into corals. And that's how they feed off of the algae and stuff. Okay. <coughs> and no, I don't have COVID. I have freaking sinus dripping like all hell. Oh my lord, I ain't gonna get onto those uh, blue tanks. Okay, I was on a reef trigger fish. I think that's what it said I was on. Okay, I'm already like 12 minutes into literally meditating, right? I'm already just did 12 minutes of this video, right? For the love of God, are you not gonna get on those? Okay. Oh, that's what. Oh, y'all the same species of fish as though as that those uh, other ones with the the red ones. Okay. Huh. Another call for God's sake, are you never gonna get me onto those uh, blue tangs so I can say, look at Dory? Oh my lord! For real, people, come on! I'm at game, come on! Oh, 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 I was on something else. I was on a different species of fish. I thought it was locking onto Dory. Damn it! That's what y'all are in a zoo. Damsel fish. Damsel fish. Damn it. Damsel fish. Come on, lock onto that puffer so I can get a good look at him. There you go. Look at him. See, he puffed up. When they do that, they're unhappy. Ah, that dolphin sound went off just as soon as that thing exhaled. Okay, that's an... <clears throat> that's enough meditation. Let's go and get this little guy. Hello! All but that one back there. Let's go and get this done. And we got another tidal wave at current. <laughs> and look, the turtle dudes! As Ethan said on current gameplays when he was saying, please tell me we get to go into the 
current again with the turtles like on Finding Nemo. <laughs> Some yellowfin trout there, baby. Man, they're big. <sighs> oh, hit it. You don't go faster when you boost. Oh, and right up here. Oh, right there, that that edge of the rock I was trying to get to. Right there is where there would have there was another one of those uh, shell pieces. And here we go, baby, Shamu. I nearly missed that one. Through the ball of. Uh, male and female uh, sheep heads, some marlin, and a bunch of reef sharks. Or swordfish. Yeah, swordfish, that's what they are. No, that's hammerheads! And I missed that group. Here we go. Look at that, they all disappeared because this is the endless abyss of nothing but absolute nothing. Is he? I was about to say, is the, is the water surface dark? Nope, it ain't. Now, where's that cat? No, where's that floating triangle thing? Yeah, it's still right up there. If you look directly straight up in the center of the screen. Not on the center of the screen, but look straight up. There it is. It's still there. Oh, wrong direction. Oh, I gotta get used to invert control again on this. And now, once again, I will give life to this area. <clears throat> and I tried testing this out earlier, a while back. But, oh, I should have just made the left turn. Right turn? Why did I keep saying... Again, when I try and say... Bleh, Oh my god, I started right there. When I try and say left, I say right. When I say right, I say left. That pisses me off. These do look like the ghost, but watch this. You can physically ride them. You can't control them entirely, I don't think. You can just ride them, but that's pretty much it. Oh, but the fish do follow you. They just don't, they just got arranged. Let's get this over with. Oh, excuse me. Man, I can see there's a ring literally around the screen. When I look directly up, I can see the full circle of the entire screen's ring. Let's give life back to the coral reef. I think that's what this is, the coral reef or something. And pop came out them. And you see that? A little baby one. <sighs> and they do follow you.
Check it out. Shamu and its family. And look, the little baby. Come here. I'm on the little baby. Oh, and I passed through it. The, the, the adult. Look at me. I'm on the back of a baby. Oh, can we breach? Woo! Watch, they can do flips as well, sort of. Okay, they actually almost attempted entirely. Okay, it won't keep with the camera. Well, they do the best they can. Oh, a unicorn fish right down the side of me, I think. Turtle dudes! Which kind of y'all? The green? Yeah, green sea turtles. Alright, I know there's a meditation spot right here somewhere. Is there or an, yep there it is right down there <clears throat> man how many minutes I'm already doing now 22 minutes I guess I can just try and look around. Hey, Barracuda. <laughs> Parrotfish. Oh, oh, I thought I locked onto those uh, blue tangs. Damn it. Ah, that's what it was earlier I was on. A un... An undulated... An undulate... An undulate triggerfish. Wait, is it locked on? Yeah, it's locked on this one that's all green pattern. Some uh, threat. Oh my god, I can't speak right now. The threadfin fish. Lord of mercy, I can't talk today. Again. Unicorn fish right there again. It's about as big as the bicolor parrotfish. Hey, there's a yellow tang. You're not locking onto it, you? Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, no, it's a powdered blue tang. Also known as Dory from Finding Nemo. I can't remember. Is there... I don't remember this clownfish in this uh, game. They has to be. You can't have Dory without... Ah, uh, what's the dad's name from Finding Nemo? I can't remember. Some of y'all are going to be shouting it in the comments or something. Probably not. Let's see if I can see if I can find any other fish that I've forgotten about that existed. All the way back here. A reef trigger. More bicolor. Another barracuda. Another barracuda. Yes! Yellow tang, right here. From the... From the fish tank. Is there any other... Is there... I wonder if there's a bunch of other very, very small fish around in this area. Hmm, I don't think so. Unless I'm passing my eye over it a bunch of times. Oh, come on. <clears throat> there we go, another powder blue tang. And another, whoa.
No, I think that's all the species of fish around in this area. All right, that's enough meditation. Okay, I'm seriously getting worse at controlling myself, the camera and everything. <sighs> Damn it, my sinuses. Whoa, watch for the tail. Y'all can't follow me. Y'all can't follow me. Go back. Another bunch of hieroglyphics. Now, it looks like right here that the, sh the my people had wanted to have a guardian protecting this area. So, they create they all gathered around and created one big energy to make the great white shark the protector of this area. Now we're on the chapter 3 if I got enough time still. Right there. Where it has the shark-like uh, Egyptian buildings. And this is where y'all saw me earlier in the beginning of the game. Now this is a beauty to see. This is a ball of fish that are being fed off by every single thing. There's a bunch of these uh, sword... There's a bunch of these... I think that's the swordfish. And a bunch of sharks that are feeding off of this whole school of fish. Ah, and, re and open... Uh, and... Uh, white, uh, oceanic white tips? Yep. Oceanic white tips. And get this, way back, you see that down there? I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a silhouette. <clears throat> and another meditation area. Now, they're supposed to be very, uh, they're supposed to come up, these humpback whales. Look at this. They're way, 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 oh my god, he ran into the rock. They're supposed to be way, way up in the area, but until I cling onto one, then they all start to come up. And I managed to just one time, one time, oh, it passed through it. I figured out, I do not know how I made it work, but I one time managed to get the, just a single time, a humpback whale literally breach out of the water. And watch this. They come in, watch that mouth. Fed off a bunch of that. I just fed him a bunch of that. You see that once in a while they do on the surface. What they do is the the predators lure the uh they lure this entire ball of fish, and they bring it up to the surface to corner them. And when they do that, they slowly pick them off one by one. And then at the end, those uh, humpback whales they come up and they open their big gigantic mouths and they close up a, and they catch in a bunch of these fish and then eat them off all at once specifically with anchovies and that you can get into the center of these but watch how it is oh there goes the frame rate and there goes a bunch of the look at all that the, look at all that snowflake of, of fish being fed off All these fish are getting fed fed off. Eventually, the ball becomes smaller and smaller and smaller until there's nothing left but just a, a, a blizzard of scales from the fish. Look at them all. This is an actual thing that happens in real life. Now, if you ever see a ball of this in the ocean... If you ever go offshore to uh, see some, and it, you see this happening, it's pretty much common sense to stay very, very far away from this. Otherwise, you'll get bitten and swallowed up, or well, not swallowed up, unless you get really unlucky and a whale actually comes in, and does that by accident. But I advise you to stay very far away from. And this ball of fish, if you ever see that coming around. 
because you don't want to be in the middle of that and then suddenly you get chomped or speared or bitten by anything around here. Whoa! I was actually trying to lock on, not lock on, trying to get onto one of those, uh, those, uh, I don't know what they are, but they uh, look like a swordfish, but I don't know what they are. They're moving so fast, I can't get to them. I don't need, I don't even know if I can ride one. I can ride these reef sharks, but I can't, I don't know if I can ride those. Uh, right, roll, I got my opportunity right there, right there, right there. Yes. Oh, a striped marlin. And into the feeding group. Some pilot fish following me. Right there is a mahi mahi. I don't know. This is there anything deeper in the water, or is there? Oh no, there's some stuff. There's some stuff. Oh yeah, those uh, uh, ninja sharks. I think they're called. I can't remember. No, thresher sharks. With that long tail. Yeah, thresher sharks. That they adapted to having this tail. It's they use this tail as a weapon. It's like a whip. So what they do is they chase their prey down and went well in their in a ball like that all they got to do is just literally swing that tail around and then they stun their prey with a sonic burst underwater they literally smack that tail so fast it's like literally more powerful than a whip literally more powerful than a bull whip they literally will stun their prey with that there's a sonic boom i think that go that's under the water I pretty much not a sonic boom, but the point is they make a shock wave that's so strong that it literally will stun their prey. Let's enjoy this entire feeding frenzy for a bit. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my dev sorry sis I get <coughs> how many minutes I have now? Okay, thirty-two. Yellowtail snapper right here. Man, just see, not seeing the bottom of this is so scary as all hell. What fish are you? Oh, come on, you're not locking on the it, but you're locking on to something else way in the distance? <laughs> A five-line snapper. Hmm. Man, these oceanic white tips were a common species of shark, and now they're slowly going extinct. Man. It makes me feel ashamed just to be even a human destroying this planet. Let alone just being human alone. And knowing that we're destroying our planet slowly, but we're trying to give them a fighting chance. Man. Another snapper. I can never lock onto one of those thresher sharks all the way down in the bottom because they're so far down, the camera can't go physically all the way down there. Even if you try adjusting it to where you got physically, where you can physically try to. Seriously, look at that. You can't see them at all. I mean, I can I can barely see them, but still, they're just so far down. You can't. It can't lock onto them. This is all one entity itself, these giant uh, Trevallis. Just look at them all getting picked off one by one, the ball of fish. Oh, it's locking onto individual ones in the gigantic group. Oh my god, I can't get out of the ball now. I'm seriously stuck in the ball. Oh my god, the camera can't get out of the whole threshold. Okay, now I am. Nope, I'm back in again. Damn it. Oh, no, I'm just going underneath one underneath. Maybe if I can get out and get back in. Maybe lock onto a, something else. 
Like those uh, freaking whales. Come on. Not the ball. Not the ball. There we go. It's going in for a feed. It's not going to entirely get anything, but it's just going to do the animation. There you go, now you can see the eye. <sighs> Alrighty, that's enough. Let's move on. Actually, I need to see if there is a bottom to this thing. Like, an actual physical seabed. Or if there's nothing. Oh yep, there is a seabed. It's just very, very far down. Man, this, these lights on this guy and my character can seriously extend almost to the other side of the map. If you're halfway there... Oh, I nearly forgot about that shark! This... Oh my god, I completely almost forgot to show y'all the big uh, feeder that is rarely ever seen in the world. Whoa! The basking shark. This is a, this is a phytoplankton. This thing eats plankton. Look at that mouth. It's specially adapted to literally feed off of phytoplankton, krill, and other small, small species of fish. Okay, that one looked like it got swallowed up, that fish. It is just a gigantuan feeder. It's a gigantic creature feeding off the smallest creatures that you can't physically see at all. I can't make him spin. Okay, not the direction I wanted him to go, but... I wanted him to spin to the left. There you go. Controlling him is a bit difficult. Because he's a big thing. They are constantly feeding off of every single little creatures that you see. Well, that you can't see, but it's constantly feeding right now. Man, I almost forgot to show y'all this big old thing. Okay, I'm seriously getting bad worse at the camera. Whoa, well, I didn't mean to ride him again. I mean, I just want to move on. There we go. So deep you can't see the bottom at all. Are you not going to... Oh, I had it, but I just went underneath again. <clears throat> and surprisingly, they don't even reach the surface of the water. I only managed to make one humpback whale literally breach out of the water and jump. I didn't even physically know if I could. I mean, it should have, but I managed to actually do so. And look at that! I didn't even know... I'm literally discovering this now for the first time in the past two years. I should have known about this. Look at all these seagulls. They're all waiting for this entire bunch of fish to come up to the surface and they can pluck them off one by one. If you see a bunch of uh, seagulls out in the middle of the open ocean, sort of, and you see them all flurrying around in one area, there is a feeding frenzy going on like this. So, it's pr so if you're wanting to see that and get that off your bucket list, or at least having a great show to see something. If you see a bunch of these birds in the open ocean area, there's a feeding going on right underneath. Alright, let's head to this 
um, gateway so we can get to the other side and get th this episode done. And back in there he goes. And I move on. Man. It is just still so damn beautiful and absolutely breathtaking, this game. <clears throat> And now I move on to chapter three of this entire thing. If it loads in. Oh, my controller's light's starting to change. Up, oh, just changed color to an orange. Now I'm in chapter three. Alrighty. That's the. Oh, and uh, I didn't show this, but this ping also has a wave. Watch this. When that seaweed comes straight right back to me, it's going to literally be blown back by the force of the sonic wave I do. Well, you see that? I put I pinged and it literally just sent that thing flying. Watch. Let me do it again. Alrighty, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. So bye-bye, and have a good day. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell on your call. See ya!